Good afternoon, Airsofters. This is Manjari Soap here, representing Developmental Tactics Airsoft Team, uh, DevTAC, out of San Diego, California. I'm here to speak to you again about the latest update on Senate Bill 199. I apologize for the background noise and uh, the terrible, terrible uh, setting here. I'm actually at work right now. I've got all of uh, five minutes to make this video, so apologies for the poor quality that you're getting today. Uh, I've seen a lot of, a lot of reactions to it, uh, and it's passing yesterday. Uh, and, and I think it's time that we address some of the issues and some of the, the concerns being raised. Just as a quick reminder, guys, please make sure you fact check any information you're going to spread. Uh, we don't need false information or incorrect information spread about this bill. Um, we want to make sure that everybody's getting the most up-to-date and correct information available. Uh, first, the hard facts. Uh, the bill did pass the California State Senate yesterday with a 23 to 8 vote with 8 abstentions. Um, that is two votes over what was required uh, for the bill to pass. So there were, there were two senators there that uh, unfortunately did not get the message that we were trying to get out. Uh, however, the bill is only 50% uh, along the way to becoming a law. So it's only halfway there, guys. We've, we've fought very hard uh, and, and we've done a very, great, a very good job in, in, in slowing it down and, and uh, preventing it from fast tracking. Uh, it's presently in the assembly and was read for the first time yesterday and is being held at the assembly desk. Um, right now, there is no date set by the assembly for the next hearing. However, the information for that will go live on the assembly website, as well as all of the legal websites that follow or allow you to follow the bill. Um, any amendments that might be made will uh, show up as well in the bill uh, when it's posted next. Of course, you can always stay, uh, you know, stay locked to uh, the De uh, Developmental Tactics Airsoft Team page uh, to, to stay up to date with the latest information. I just uh, called and spoke with Senator De Leon's, uh, one of Senator De Leon's staffers uh, about five minutes ago and spoke with her regarding the bill and, and why we oppose it. I think it's important that I need to remind everyone right now that we must be respectful. Even though this is a heated issue, this is something that threatens our hobby, something that we, both, that we all love, uh, when you call your assembly members and you call your senators, you need to be respectful. This poor girl did not write the bill, and she's telling me that you know people are calling and using profanity and yelling at her on the phone. It's not going to get your point across. In fact, if anything, it's detrimental to our cause. Call your senators, but be respectful. Be clear, uh, be concise, explain why you oppose the bill and why the senator should, uh, or assembly member should, and thank them for listening to your, your, uh, your opinion. It's important that we do this and we conduct ourselves as, as mature individuals uh, and that we do the, everything with respect. I also just sent an email to Senator De Leon's scheduler of appointments uh, requesting an in-person or telephone meeting with the Senator. Hopefully she'll get back to me shortly uh, and I can give you guys some more information um, regarding whether or not I'll be able to, to attain a meeting uh, or not. But I'm doing everything I can uh, to make sure that this bill goes no farther. At this point, what we need to do is we need to mobilize and start calling all of our representatives, our assembly members, as well as Governor Jerry Brown. Now, a similar bill uh, came across Brown's desk uh, in the past, and he vetoed it. But we cannot sit here and wait for that to happen again. We cannot rely on the governor to help stop the bill from progressing. Uh, this is our fight. And I've said it a million times, this is our fight, and this is something that we're going to have to do on our own. Unfortunately, following yesterday's Senate uh, vote, I saw a lot of negativity coming out of people's Facebooks uh, and, and Instagram and other, other social media outlets. You know, People are disheartened, and I understand that. I'm, I'm, I was disheartened as well after hearing that vote. But the important thing that we have to do now is we need to mobilize and be stronger than before. We need to make sure that we get our voice out there clearly, uh, firmly, respectfully, that we make it very clear that what's going to happen in California will not benefit anyone at all, even if the aim of the bill is to prevent tragedies in the future uh, involving BB devices. This bill is going to gut uh, $400 million in taxable revenue from the state. It's going to shut down thousands of jobs for hardworking Californians. It'll force the, the major companies to either move out of the state or, worse yet, it might cause some of them to go into bankruptcy because they will not be able to make any money anymore on airsoft products. The other important thing is that for the rest of you who are not in California, this bill will affect you as well. Uh, products will then have to be, if they are imported through California, they will have to be painted in the bright colors prescribed by the bill, and then you're going to have to paint, uh, repaint them once they arrive at your door. 
um, that's an additional cost to you already. And airsoft is an expensive hobby. Um, worse yet, if they start shipping items to other parts of the country, they'll have to go through different customs outlets. It's going to take longer to get to you. Shipping is going to be more expensive, so prices are going to go up. For those of you on the East Coast, anything that goes through the New York Customs Office is notorious for being seized or slowed down dramatically. Um, many places don't even like shipping there. It increases the cost too much. You know, no one wins if this bill passes. Those of you thinking, oh, I live in a gun-friendly state, no, you're not going to win either. So please, get on board with us as a community. We all need to come together to fight this bill, to spread awareness, to practice safety, uh, and to encourage people to, to really actually pick up their phones and make that phone call. So please, guys, do that for us. Do that for yourself. Do that for the community as a whole. Uh, make those phone calls today. Uh, there are links all over DevTax webpage. Uh, there are links on my Facebook page. Um, please step up and fight this fight for yourself, for all of us. Stop Senate Bill 199.